Hi everyone, my name is Parul. Welcome to my channel Parul English Lab. This video is a part of vocabulary series and today I'm going to share some amazing words with you that you can use in your day-to-day -day conversation. I will tell you their correct pronunciation and how they can be used in different sentences. So let's start our today's video. First word is cumbersome. It's not cumbersome, it's cumbersome. The pronunciation is cumbersome. So the stress is on the first syllable, okay? Cumbersome, cumbersome, cumbersome. This is an adjective and this has different meanings. So let's see how we can use this adjective in different sentences. So when we use cumbersome for something, that means it's quite big or heavy okay and it's very difficult to carry that or to wear it or handle it for example the dress she wore in the award function was cumbersome that means she was not able to manage it properly she was not able to wear it properly okay the dress was cumbersome when you say that i can't move this furniture because it's cumbersome or the table is cumbersome that means it's quite heavy and big could you please put these equipments in the other room? No, I can't do that because these equipments are cumbersome. Okay, so that's how you can use this adjective when you talk about something that is really heavy or big. Second is the whole system is cumbersome. When we use it for a system or a process, that means it is inefficient and complicated for example i went to the passport office last week but i didn't get my passport because the whole system is cumbersome that means the whole system is inefficient and very very complicated okay so this is the second meaning next is don't put me in a cumbersome situation by asking this question who do you love the most your mom or me what kind of a question is it? Please don't put me in a cumbersome situation by asking this question. I won't be able to answer it because I love you both. Okay, so when we use it for a situation or something, that means it's difficult and problematic. Okay, so don't put me in a problematic situation or a difficult situation. So this is what it means. So this way we can use this adjective in different sentences. We generally don't use it for people. Okay, so you can use it for things or the situation or system process like this. Now let's move on to the next word. Next word is circuitous. Circuitous. Okay, so this is circuitous. The pronunciation is circuitous. 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 Securitus. Okay, so this is the correct pronunciation. It is again an amazing word and this is an adjective. So it means not straight or direct. Okay, anything that is long, lengthy, roundabout or uh, uh, indirect, okay, complicated. So this is what it means. So generally we use it for path, journey, way or route. But yes, it can be used for other things also okay so now let's go through some examples our driver took a circuitous route it took you so long to reach here yeah because our driver took a circuitous route he took a long and lengthy not the direct route complicated roundabout okay so this is what it means next is we have to take a circuitous path to avoid the storm because if we take the direct path or the direct way or the route then we might face the storm so to avoid that we have to take a circuitous path it was a circuitous journey how was it it was a circuitous journey how is the trekking it was amazing and adventurous because we took a circuitous path or we took a circuitous route that's what made it adventurous we didn't take a straight or you know easy route we took a circuitous a long complicated route and that's why it was adventurous the trekking was adventurous 
He gave me a circuitous explanation when I asked him why have you been taking too many leaves these days then he gave me a circuitous explanation rather than giving me a straight and easy to understand explanation he gave me a circuitous explanation that means a long complicated explanation okay so sometimes you can use it for other things but generally it is used for route path way journey etc next word is truculent truculent so the stress is on the second syllable truculent 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 okay so this is an adjective and this can be used for people as well as writing or speech when you use it for people that means that person is really unpleasant aggressive or threatening and when you use it for a writing or a speech that means it's harsh rude or mean okay for example whenever he is tired or stressed he becomes truculent that means he becomes aggressive or really unpleasant whenever he is tired or stressed tia used to be truculent but now she has changed completely earlier she used to be really aggressive or threatening but now she has changed completely he gave a truculent speech he should be prosecuted for this because he gave a truculent speech a rude harsh or mean speech okay so this way again an amazing word for you and you can use it whenever you need whenever you require and this word can be used for people as well as writing or speech next word is mischievous so this is not mischievous i have heard people pronouncing it wrong now the correct pronunciation is miss ch was okay miss ch was so the stress is on the first label miss ch was miss ch was miss ch was miss ch was okay so this is what the pronunciation is now we can use this word in different sentences let's understand it with some examples Max is a witty and mischievous boy. When we use it for people, for somebody, mischievous boy, mischievous child, mischievous person, that means uh, that these people they have fun by troubling others. Okay, so this is what it means: naughty or playful. So mischievous. She always gets in trouble because of her mischievous behavior. We can use it for behavior also. Mischievous behavior that means the behavior that troubles others, okay? So she always gets in trouble because of her mischievous behavior. Next is she gave me a mischievous smile. When I asked her the reason to leave the job, then she gave me a mischievous smile. I don't know why, but she had a mischievous smile on her face. He has a mischievous sense of humor. He has a mischievous sense of humor means the sense of humor that can get others in trouble. I had to leave my job because of mischievous rumors. Those rumors were harming me. They got me in trouble and that's why I had to leave my job because of mischievous rumors. Now, let's move on to our last word of the day. The last word of this video is capricious. 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 So the stress is on the second syllable. Capricious. 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 capricious this means unpredictable or unexpected when you use it for someone that means that person is unpredictable and changes his mind unexpectedly and when you use it for something for a situation behavior that means that is unpredictable or unexpected okay so this is what it means now let's go through some examples I don't know how he will react because he is a capricious person. He is a capricious person, so I don't know how he will react. Unpredictable. It's difficult to work with her because of her capricious nature because I don't know how she will react, uh what she would do. So, it's really difficult to work with her because she is unpredictable or unexpected. 
your capricious behavior will not let you achieve your goal if you keep changing your mind all the time with this capricious behavior you will never achieve your goal so this is what it means you can use it for weather today i'm not going anywhere because the weather is capricious so that's all for today i have given you five good words that you can use in your everyday conversation with the meanings and pronunciation please practice these words start using these words and don't forget to practice the pronunciation because these words are a bit difficult to pronounce but with practice you can pronounce them properly so please practice and don't forget to subscribe to my channel share with your friends and press the bell icon to get future notifications thank you take care have a great day thank you for watching my videos if you find them helpful please like and share with your friends feel free to leave comments do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to receive a notification for the new videos. Thank you, take care and have a great day.